It is time to talk about a big one. It's the latest installment in the DCEU, Wonder Woman. This one's a pretty big deal for the studio. One, because Batman vs Superman and Suicide Squad didn't exactly live up to expectations. And then two, because it is about damn time we get a female-led superhero movie. That being said, I was really hoping director Patty Jenkins would just completely knock it out of the park with this one. It isn't perfect. Wonder Woman is still a fantastic film for a number of reasons. The movie takes place way before the events of Batman vs Superman during World War I. Diana is living a fairly quiet life hidden away on the island of Themyscira until Steve Trevor's plane crashes in that area. After hearing about the war and all the evil taking place in the world beyond Themyscira from Steve, Diana decides it is time to leave home and do what she can to save the world. All right, so let's kick things off with some things that work really well, and there's really no better place to start than with Gal Gadot's performance. The times of doubting her acting chops are over. She is just so great and perfectly cast as Wonder Woman. She sold strong and confident in BVS, and now here we go back to a time when Diana is first learning what she's capable of and what the world is like, and Gadot does a great job playing in that range. You believe her as a fish out of water, and the same is true when she's a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. Another great bit of casting? It's Chris Pine. Perhaps it's because he became a familiar name via a big franchise with 2009 Star Trek, but this guy really deserves even more credit than he gets. He is just one heck of an actor who always brings more to the roles he gets than what's on the page originally, and Wonder Woman is no different. Not only does he have great chemistry with Gadot, but he also has great chemistry with everyone around him, and for particular supporting characters, that's the main reason they make an impression. The mascara is also a big highlight of the film. It is just so refreshing to see some bright, bold visuals and some really strong and majestic female heroes, particularly Robin Wright. The lifestyle and history of Themyscira are also super interesting and appealing, and it's the location of one of the best fight sequences in the entire film. Only downside to all this is that I wish more of Wonder Woman took place here. But there's still some fun to be had beyond Themyscira, because another big win in Wonder Woman is the humor. It speaks to Gadot's performance, her chemistry with Pine. The two of them just really play off each other so, so well when it comes to all those jokes about Diana not understanding the basics of human life and life in London. That quality of Diana also comes into play in a really interesting way with war. She basically processes everything as good versus bad. If innocents are in need of help, you help them. It's as simple as that, and it is a really inspiring and refreshing thought process that we don't get to see too often. It's a really powerful component of the film. All right, so before moving over to the negatives, I think it is important to reiterate, a movie can have flaws and still be great. So, that being said, one of Wonder Woman's flaws is pacing, particularly in the second half. It's long, and it does start to feel like it. After we leave the mascara, the color palette gets a little bit dark and dreary, and some of the quieter, conversation-driven moments aren't really as engrossing as they need it to be. And it's tough to talk villain without getting into spoilers, but I will say that while Wonder Woman has an excellent concept for the villainy featured in the film, it just isn't executed as well as it could have been. But again, flaws aside, this is the movie we needed. Wonder Woman is getting a three and a half on the Dewey Decimal movie scale because it's got a fantastic lead performance, an ensemble that has so much chemistry, and perhaps more important than anything, because Wonder Woman is oozing with heart and positivity. You get to root wholeheartedly for the hero, you get to feel inspired, and then you get to leave with a whole lot of hope for what's to come in the DCEU. I can't wait to see what the studios do with this character moving forward, and I can't wait to see Wonder Woman again.